What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 and today I am bringing you guys another figure review. Now today we'll be taking a look at one of the figures that I picked up last week and I showed this off to you guys in my uh, previous toy haul. It is Ultimate Madoka from the Puella Magi Madoka Magica series. It's an anime for those of you guys who don't know. But yeah, you have just your standard packaging for Figma. Uh, this is the older style, but I do, I gotta say, I really do like this packaging. You have these nice rose petal designs on this, the actual um, the window display here. And just everything about this packaging is pretty awesome. I love the shiny, glossy material that they use for the packaging. You have an awesome picture of Madoka here. In the back, you have some different poses you could get her in with the different face sculpts you could have her with. And lastly, on this side, you have another beautiful picture of the actual figure with Figma going straight down. On the top, you have, once again, Figma and just a picture of the figure. So guys, give me a sec. I'm going to assemble her, and then I'll show you how it was assembled. Um, I'll just show you the bits and pieces, but yeah, I'm gonna assemble her, take her out of packaging, do all that good stuff, and we'll take a look at Ultimate Mod uh, Modoka in her final form, and it's going to be awesome. Guys, stick around. I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we are back. So, first thing is first, let me just say, man, I was a nervous wreck. Now, this figure doesn't come packaged like this with all of the pieces like the wings the there's ec there's actually extra hair pieces that you have to attach it's just yeah there's a ton of crap you have to put uh, together now when I was putting these things together and putting the actual figure together I felt like I was gonna break this thing maybe four or five times and so I was taking my time doing this and luckily nothing broke but man it was one nerve-wracking experience but since that is done with and I got my figure nicely set up let's take a look first at the accessories so every Figma that you will ever purchase you'll always get this awesome Figma base I wish I wish SH Figure Arts did the same, but they don't. But Figma always includes these awesome display stands. So that's that. You also get this nice little baggie where you can store all your accessories, especially if you don't like keeping the boxes. I personally will be holding on to the box, so I'll be putting, I won't be using this as much. Another um, standard when it comes to Figma, you get your rack of hands. Now these hands, it could it's just all different types of hands you can possibly ever want. And pretty much you see this little peg that goes into the hole and bam, you have a nice way of storing your hands. So that's that. Now on to the main accessories. You get one interchangeable face right here. This is the more stern look. So that's that. This paint job looks excellent. Loving the detail on the eyes, just it looks very nice. Then you get some of her arrows, you get two of each. You get two of these basic arrows, and I like the translucent pink that they used here. And the detailing on this is not bad at all. This is a pliable material, but still you don't want to bend it too far because you could warp the um, plastic, so keep that in mind. And. Also, you get another set of arrows, but this time it has like this effect piece down here, which is pretty cool. So you get two of those. The main accessory that she comes with is the following. It's her bow. Now, if you haven't watched the anime, you would probably be like, what the heck is this crap? But guys, I highly recommend you watch it. It's actually, it's actually quite nice anime, and I really did have a great time. Now, if you take a look at the bow, it's made out of wood, or it looks like it's made out of wood. There's a flower blossoming on this end right here. There's this jewel that's painted in nicely on both sides, and you see this little vine part 
sticking out. This is her bow, so that's cool. I already have one of the uh, hands for this bow on her already, so I can just easily swap out, and I'll show you that in a little bit. All right, another thing I wanna show off just real quickly, in order to hold these arrow pieces, you need to use this hand right here. And you just literally slide this piece in and it does a pretty good job holding. Oh, sorry. It does a pretty nice job holding it in place. It's kind of hard doing it right here. But yeah, you see, you're not gonna have any hard time. Like this won't fall on you. It's pretty good. Now, if you keep interchanging it over time, I feel like it, yes, it would have a hard time, but if you're gonna just display this one hand with this, and that's what it's just meant for, then you shouldn't need to take this thing off, so it should be okay. I'm gonna leave this to the side, and let's bring in Ultimate Madoka herself. Now, I gotta say, I do love this figure. It's actually quite expensive these days, uh, and that's why I was so scared. What pieces was I talking about when I uh, when I said I had to put um, assemble this pretty much? This hair piece right here, the wing, this hair piece right here, this wing, and this back piece right here. You can see the ball joint right there. I mean, it was nicely done so that it's not too hard to do, but once you get the hair pieces, first of all, the hair pieces is very difficult to get on. If you feel like you're gonna definitely break the peg, but just work with it, be very careful with it, and you should be okay. Same thing goes for these wings. The wings attach in this little joint right here, so it's very difficult to actually put your hand in here, especially if you have like fat fingers like I do. Uh, it's very difficult. And uh, the, since this plastic joint the wing is quite hard um, you definitely feel like you're gonna break it now with all her hair pieces and everything she is very back heavy watch you see um, ultimate Madoka the figure cannot this upper diaphragm joint can't hold her <laughs> her hair piece and her wing piece but I mean it's not gonna be such a big deal because you're not gonna have her crunching over like this anyways She's going to be standing up straight with her arrow pointing out, such as this right here. So, not a big deal. When it comes to sculpt, I do love the sculpt work. She looks very beautiful. Uh, also, keep in mind, when you're putting um, the hair pieces in, your hand will tend to go like here to kind of get some grip. Be careful because these pieces can definitely fall off. If you're not careful, you could break this bow piece. I've been pushing our face in like a madman when trying to put this in. It was just a terrible experience. A worst time of my life, but not my life, but for the time being. But it's nicely done, and I now do not need to worry about her hair. All right, when it comes to articulation, her head can fully rotate. These hair pieces are actually very pliable plastic or rubbery pieces. These two right here can move, as you guys can clearly see. see. Um, the head can fully rotate, it's not hindered. All these pieces right here are pliable, so that's that. Each of these hair, long hair pieces can swivel. This one is actually on a ball joint over here, so it can go up and down. The wings can move up and down, but it's quite tight, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. She has an upper diaphragm joint where her chest is, right here. So that's cool. Uh, the waist, I don't think that she has a waist joint and I don't honestly see the point of her having a waist joint. It's not really needed. Her arms right here, she can get all the posability. It swivels here. I don't, it could go up that far because of this um, skirt, this shoulder piece, this dress piece. Double jointed elbows. You have the rotation up here. The hands can fully rotate no forearm swivel so that's that when it comes to our poofy little dress here I love this starry night pattern this like I don't know this thing looks so freaking cool it's kinda weird we're looking up her dress but I just wanted to show this off this is 
so awesome. I love the paint job, the detailing that they put in here, and the way these thing and the this dress is like flowing. It looks very organic. Over here, you see that peg that is for the display base. You peg it into this, and you can have her kind of floating, which is pretty cool. I personally will have her display just like that, most likely, as long as the figure allows me to. Uh, the dress pieces, these pieces are hard plastic, right here, here, here. The actual dress is hard. Um, all of these pieces are hard. The only soft piece is this piece right here, but if you pull on this too hard, you can definitely rip this part, so be careful. Uh, these pieces are actually three different ball joints, as you guys can clearly see, one, two, and one in the back here. That gives many different options when displaying. You can move her dress pretty much any way and every way you want. You can make it more like spread out like that or cover this up a tad bit, make it look like one flowing dress like that any different way her legs standard joint for um figma the knee joint now yes a lot of people don't like that ball but it's okay it gets the job done she has all the feet articulation you want now when it comes to standing this figure because she's so back heavy she's not going to be able to stand and if she does it's because her poofy back part of her dress let me just show you right now the dress is what's keeping her up. If you try to keep her standing with her just own two feet, not happening. The high heels plus the heaviness of her hair and her skirt, just not going to happen. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, but paint job, sculpt, this girl is freaking awesome. I even like the wings here, but be careful. This is a very solid uh, plastic piece, so you definitely don't want to be um, pulling on this because that can definitely break. All right, now let's take a look and just start interchanging some parts. So real quickly, I wanna interchange and get her ready for the way I will display her. So we're gonna pull her hand out. Just gonna slowly pull it out. And I love these joints um, because it's the peg is right here. It's not like that ball joint where the ball joint can move around. It doesn't happen that way. So I really do like this Figma joint right here. Only issue with this is over time, if you're the type of person who likes to swap out hands and all that good stuff, I could definitely see that the peg hole getting worn out. So that can be a problem. But if you're gonna just display her, I don't see any reason why you should have any problems or any reason why this joint should wear and tear. So there's that. You see, I'm just letting her sit like that. The hand, other hand we're gonna take out. Slowly take it out. I'm gonna take this off for now. Put this hand in. Voila, it's that easy. Now let me see if I could get her on her stand real quick. How is this gonna work? Guys, give me a sec. I'll be right back. I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we are back. Now, damn, this thing <laughs> was a pain to get on the stand, first of all. Second, getting this pose was not fun. Also, I interchanged or swapped out the actual face with the more stern face. As you guys can see, this is the face that she had, which is smiling, but that's not my cup of tea. I wanted, she's gonna, I mean, she's shooting an arrow for Christ's sake, so I wanted her to have that angry or more stern looking face. So there you go. Now, I gotta say, I really do like how this came out. Now, obviously my arrow alignment could have been better, Maybe something like that. Is that a little better? Let me see. Yeah, I just need to bend the elbow a little bit more. But damn, this thing was a pain to get on. Why? Because of, like I mentioned uh, when I was reviewing the figure, the wings, the hair, the dress, everything is being 
pretty much supported by this one stand or one this little piece right here this flight stand and because of that she's very top heavy and to get her in this type of pose it takes a little bit of getting used to a little bit of frustration but now that I have her like this I gotta say um, Figma has killed it with this figure this she is the best Madoka I guess uh, figure that we have now while I was doing this her hair kinda got messed up but it's okay it looks pretty good now how am I gonna be displaying her pretty much just like this I will not be moving her from this stand whatsoever why because it's such a pain I mean I do love all the little details that Figma has put into this but to get this girl on her stand with all her hair posing beautifully and just getting the arrow just right and having to deal with these little tiny hands and me having these big gigant gigantic hands it was just really painful so I will be posing her just like this and I am perfectly fine with that but yeah guys would I say this is a must-have for all you Madoka fans out there definitely if you guys love the Madoka series, uh, then I would highly recommend this to you all. Um, yes, it's going to cost you a pretty penny, definitely, but it is an older figure, and yeah, it's a very highly sought after figure as well. When it comes to her dress, her just attire, the paint job, just the presentation of this figure, it's excellent. The accessory count was very low. But who cares? I mean, you're getting an awesome figure. And so that's a wrap, guys. If you guys like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll have more Figma reviews coming up for you guys very, very soon. And thanks for watching. This is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.